Next is fixed speed strategy. Fixed speed strategy are used for ETOPS or EDTO operations and we all know that ETOPS stands for engine turning or passenger swimming. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Disclaimer, always refer to your company manuals. This video is merely a guide. Question, what causes an engine failure? Well, it can be due to mechanical failure, fuel starvation or contamination of the fuel, or perhaps an engine flame out. Any pilot that notices the failure will announce the ECAM and cancel the caution. Initial actions are the pilot flying will set MCT on both engines, disconnect the auto thrust via instinctive disconnect button. When we perform this action, the speed is now controlled by the elevators with the thrust is fixed at MCT. The pilot flying will then set a heading and pull. Follow the RVSM contingency procedures that is relevant to your airspace. Because we have lost an engine, we will not be able to maintain our cruise altitude. Therefore, we have to determine our engine out recovery altitude. For long range cruise, you can see the altitude at your progress page. When ready for descent, the pilot flying will then set the speed and pull. Set the engine out recovery altitude and pull for open descent. Let us dive in on the three different speed strategies. First will be obstacle strategy. We will use this strategy when flying over high ground. At any point an engine failure happens, we must be able to clear the high ground by 2000 feet if we are descending and by 1000 feet if we are climbing. So we have to maintain green dot speed for this strategy. Select green dot speed in FCU and pull. The drift down height is available on the performance page of the FMGS. Let us take an example. Say that during flight planning, you realize that if an engine failure at a particular point and you will not be able to clear the obstacle, a PNR or point of no return have to be established. So if an engine fails before a PNR, then you turn back. If an engine fails after the PNR, then you proceed on. Once you are clear of the high ground, you can revert back to the standard speed strategy. Okay, now let us look at the standard strategy. Select mark decimal 7, 8 or 300 knots in the FCU speed window and pull. This is to make sure the aircraft is within the windmill engine relight envelope. With this speed available, you can even attempt an engine relight. Select LRC ceiling in the FCU altitude window and pull. You can get the LRC ceiling on the progress page of your FMGS. This ceiling is with anti-ice off. Descend to engine out altitude. Next is fixed speed strategy. Fixed speed strategy are used for ETOPS or EDTO operations and we all know that ETOPS stands for engine turning or passenger swimming. Just kidding. ETOPS is extended twin operations in which we will discuss in another video. Select the speed that you have decided before dispatch. The speed is totally dependent on your airline policy. Some use mark decimal 7, 8 or 320 knots or mark decimal 8, 0 or 350 knots as a fixed speed. Set that speed on the FCU and pull. Once you are reaching the height you set, the vert speed can sometimes go below minus 500 feet per minute. In this case, just select auto thrust on and set vert speed minus 500 feet per minute until you reach that altitude. Remember to set the auto thrust on to reduce your workload. Now let us dive into the ECAM actions. ECAM actions, engine mode selector, ignition. This is to make sure you have continuous ignition so that the FedEx can attempt a relight. 
after 30 seconds if no relight engine masters off this 30 seconds starts when the failure is triggered the crew must decide if the engine is damaged and needs to be secured or not damaged and a relight attempt can be made what are the indications that an engine is damaged do comment below if you know the answer if engine is damaged fire push button push this isolates the engine from the fuel, the hydraulic power, electrical power and bleed air and arms the squibs. The ECAM countdown allows N1 to decrease, reducing nasal ventilation and increasing the effect of the agent. Agent 1 discharge. TCAS is set to TA as aircraft performance may not be capable of RA orders. Clear the engine fail. Land ASAP in Amber is advised to us to consider landing in the nearest suitable airport. Let us have a look at the system pages. Only one bleed system is available which will affect the aircraft anti-ice capability. Only one generator will be supplying the electrical network. Therefore, consider starting the APU. Fail engine hydraulic system is now powered by the PTU. Status Read the status on the left hand side and then the inoperative systems on the right hand side Ecam actions Okay, what if the engine has no damage then maybe we can relight the engine Once Ecam actions is complete open the QRH Always remember that you can only attempt an engine relight once you complete the ECAM actions, there is a table for you for the optimum relight height and speed. So example, passing 20,000 feet, you want to attempt a relight. Make sure the engine masters is off, the thrust lever is at idle, and the engine mode selector is at ignition. Cross bleed is open to supply bleed air from the working engine. Wing anti-ice off for starter assist. Then engine master on. Monitor the engine parameters and after the fuel flow increase within 30 seconds, engine should light up. When idle is reached, engine mode selector to knob. TCAS back to TARA. Cross bleed to auto and restore all other affected systems. If there is no relight, then switch off the engine masters. Trying to start again will depend on the environment that you are in. Okay, now to navigate. Go to and look at the MCDU data page. The nearest airport can be used to select a diversion airport. FMGS will show you the fuel predictions on the flight plan page when an engine out is detected down to the primary destination. Caution! Pressing the engine out clear will restore the two engine predictions and further single engine predictions will be lost for the rest of the flight. If the engine cannot start, then consider the fuel cross fit so you can use the remaining fuel from the other tanks. Remember that additional information can be obtained in your QRH or your electronic EFB.